All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me back here at Wright and Rustic Woodworking. This week is a much overdue project, which is going to be a new workbench for my workshop. This workbench has served me really well, but ultimately I just need more space to lay out my projects. I'd like to have a space dedicated to cutting and directly beside it, a place uh, for assembly once my ladder's out of the way. And then I can take this old bench uh, as a prep uh, table at the back of the workshop. So. Let's go check it out. I was very lucky because my local plywood shop had a bunch of bundles cut down into the perfect size strips for my leg system. Here I'm just laying everything out to see exactly what I'll require and what cuts will be made. As always, my first step is eye and ear protection. I don't really do anything in my shop without it. My stop block is perfect for the repeated cuts of the leg system. I can set it and forget about it. Here, I'm just milling down the interior brace legs to the proper width. Okay, so this workbench is not actually my exact design. It's actually from Suso over at PS Woodworking. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I'm going with his workbench design, which is uh, basically built up of material as opposed to taking material away. So what you just watched me cut uh, was the corner leg systems. And on those corner leg systems, each leg is comprised of three pieces of the plywood to make up the singular leg. So you'll have your long back piece, your middle piece, and your shorter inside piece. So when it's assembled, it will look like this. And then when we have the long rails that come across, it'll fit directly in this end groove and go across. The inside chamfer that you can see here is going to allow the interior boxes to sit inside. And you'll see all that as the video progresses. see here is me applying the leg system on the actual top that I'm going to be using. Yes, the legs will go underneath, but this allows for the exact measurements left to right to make sure that there's no errors. All the guesswork is taken out of it. Well, this build was actually over several months because I take summer off and spend a lot of time with family. But that means a busy, crowded garage. So it was time to clean everything up to finish this build. Welcome back to my father-in-law, Craig, who I asked to help me with this because it was just too many parts to try to maneuver by myself, to be honest. I'm trying to get better at asking for help where it's needed. What you're seeing here is a system called dog holes, and those are used to hold wood on the top surface of the workbench as well as the face and backside. When you have spent the amount of money I have on cabinet grade plywood, always remember to draw out your parts the day that you cut to ensure that you don't make a mistake. Everything's getting good and dusty now, 
It's just called shop glitter, that's all. Look at all that space. It's at this moment I knew I made the right decision. I don't have a cabinet table saw, so I actually forgot about the exposed motor. I knew about it during my design, but I forgot about it until this exact moment. So it was time to cut a hole for that. Boy, I really wish this was possible. It would make a lot of tasks easier. Alrighty, that does it for the final build of my new workbench. Uh, this has been an excellent project as I severely had outgrown my old one. Uh, the size is great. It's going to allow a lot of extra additions, which makes it high capacity. On the end, I'm going to be adding a vise down the road, uh, which will allow me to tie in to my dog holes to support and hold all my work. Over here at the table saw, I can add uh, miter tracks, similar to what's already on the saw so that I can push my sled directly across at the same height without issues. you see on the back and on this side, I've got lots of space available to add uh, drawers or gear in general. The uh, top and bottom has large grooves to put things like rails and guides or even spare wood. And hey, even if I just want to hang out with some buddies, there's lots of room to sit around and play cards, guitar, or whatever we wish. Thanks a lot for watching the build and see you next time.